Hello and welcome to Path of Titans, where today we're going to be playing Metri, Metria Canthosaurus, and look, a termite mound. Anyways, we're going to be playing Metria, Metri, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to be looking for new food types. So I've challenged myself to not eat from the pre-set, the, uh, the spawned carcasses that you can find at, you know, predetermined locations around the map. I'm not going to eat from those. Nope. I'm a picky Metria. I'm only gonna eat the bones or the mushrooms. Or I'm gonna, if I kill something, I'll eat that. But I'm not gonna be eating no scavenged meat. I'm too good for that. So we are off. We are going to find yummy, tasty food for ourselves. And gotta get up the hill, up the hill, and there we go. Let's see. What? Uh. I'll have to be, sometimes I'm going to have to be going slow and really looking around just to try and find, you know, those mushrooms that might be hidden kind of thing. I also, I don't know how hard bones are to find. I've been hearing bones are pretty hard, so we'll see if we actually find any or not. We'll find out. Ah, oh, the map is so pretty, though. I like the redwoods. I think the redwoods are one of my favorite spots on the map. Look how nice it is. I like the new icons, the new attack icons for the different dinosaurs that have new ones. Their developers are doing a great job on those to get the point across what they do in as simple of and, and understandable a form as possible. So, you know, that's good. Oh, I'm not seeing anything to eat yet, but we will. Eventually. If you hear any background noise, I apologize. I can't help it. There's stuff going on outside. I'm sorry. Hopefully it's not too bothersome. Uh, we could try to go to the mire. I know the mire has mushrooms at least, and that would be something to eat. Also, I hope the quality is better. I've uh, actually reduced my graphic settings down to medium across the board. And hopefully that makes it less bit crushed and, you know, blurry and laggy. Because, like, I fixed my video settings so that it uploads in 1080p and doesn't get, you know, crushed as much by YouTube. But it's still having problems. So I've tried to drop my Path of Titans graphics quality down as well, hoping that that will fix it. And you know what? Even on medium settings, it still looks great, doesn't it? I think so, at least. I did leave textures on high for like the dinosaurs and stuff. But everything else is on medium now. So, well hopefully that'll make a difference. And you know, maybe in time I can bump it back up to high like I had it before. Actually, I think I had it on epic for a while and I had to drop it to high and then I was still having trouble so I had to drop it to medium. But that's okay. And since I'm recording in a different spot than I normally do, you might hear my laptop whirring and whining as well because my microphone is a lot closer to my laptop than it used to be or than it normally is. So if you hear the whirring and whining of my laptop as well, I'm sorry. There's not much I can do right now because I want to record and I'm in a limited option. All right, this place is too deep to fish, so I can't fish here. I was thinking about trying to fish, but it's too deep. I need shallow waters to, to uh, swim in. Alright, we resume the hunt. This is a nice area, don't you think? Nice little lake down there, open grasslands with rocks you can hide behind. I like it. Oh, dragonfly. Let's see. There are the waystones down here. Maybe there'll be somebody near the waystone that we can hunt. Maybe not. I don't know. Do, do, do. Do, do. Metri is in a really good spot right now in terms of, you know, how viable he is at survival. Because not only can he eat a decent variety of foods, but he's also really good right now combat-wise. Which, you know, things change. Serato used to be really good combat-wise before, and now he's not, so... Until they really balance combat, you know, things are going to alternate in how good or bad they are. And right now, Metri is in a very good spot. Oh, I found mushrooms. But, as you can see, 
I need mushrooms that are in a group. Oh, I can't eat shellfish. But yeah, I need a mushroom cluster, not single mushrooms, because single mushrooms are for quests and they're not, they don't let you eat them right now. Oh, look at these little tiny ponds, puddles, whatever you want to call them. All right, so I can't eat shellfish. And the mushrooms that are here are not edible. So I guess we continue onwards on our hunt for food. We are heading to the mire, which is right there. Because I know the mire has mushroom clusters. I've seen them before. So we're gonna go find them. Ooh, look, more termite mounds. I've been finding a lot of termite mounds. Good news for Struthi and Deinonychus, at least, right? They eat termites. Oh, I haven't seen anybody yet, though. I'd like to try to hunt someone if I can't find any of the uh, food I can eat. Oh, look. Oh, I thought these were mushrooms. They're yarrow. Let's see what's down here. We're getting pretty low on food. Oh, we got more shellfish, which we can't eat. What else do we have? Um, is that a salt rock? I think that's a salt rock. We can eat salt rocks. Yeah! Normally I would be like, oh, I'm not so sure about eating this because it's going to dehydrate me, but we're right next to water. I think we're going to be okay. So yeah, here we go. Here's our first piece of brand new food in our quest to eat only new food. We're going to sit here and eat a rock until we uh, are full, and then we'll fill our water up since there's water right here and we have the dehydrating debuff right now. All will be well. Alright. That's good enough. I don't need to be completely full. Let's top our water off to counteract that dehydrating buff or debuff. Keep a watch out because you never know if someone's sneaking up behind you like a sneak. The backer skin is so pretty. I think Iguanodon is my favorite backer skin though. It's just such a good one. Iguanodons? Oh, it's so good. All right, we resume the search. Oh, look, pine cones. Oh, lots of pine cones. This seems like a really good area for Alberta Ceratops. So let's take a picture so I know where it's at, and I'm going to bring an Alberta Ceratops down here. Because there's berry bushes, there's... Lots of pine cones, there's shellfish, there's two water sources, there's a salt rock. I mean, there's lots of stuff there for Alberta, uh, Alberta Ceratops to eat. So yeah, I think I'm going to bring an Alberta Ceratops down here. That'll be pretty fun. But for Metri, not much down here. Just a salt rock, which I don't want to rely on for food. Look, more pine cones. Lots of pine cones. All right, onwards. Oh, we got some ginger. Lovely. All right, to the mire. And eat anything we find along the way that we can eat. All right, so we need to go west. If we're going too far north. We need to go west, west, west. And excuse me while I take a drink right here. Hopefully I don't make too much noise. Mmm, I like root beer. It's the only soda I drink, really. I do tea otherwise. I like a tea with a little bit of, like, mango in it. That's good. Mango tea's pretty good. Maybe I'll have some of that after I finish my root beer, because I've got some mango tea in as well. Do, 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 do. I'd like to find some bones. I think they're really hard. Look, more termite mounds. Man, we're finding so many termites in another salt rock, but I don't want to, I don't want to eat the salt rock. But I'm finding a lot of termite mounds. I don't think Struthi or Deinonychus are going to hurt for things to eat with how many termite mounds there are across the map, which is not a bad thing. It's not bad that, especially Struthi who can't eat berries anymore, they kind of need to have 
a different, you know, since they can't eat berries, their food can't be super scarce. Okie dokie. Onwards and onwards. I would say onwards and upwards, but we're not going up. We're going across. I guess we're kind of going upwards. So onwards and upwards, people. Let's go. Gotta find them tasty foods. Can I drop down here without hurting myself? Yep. Not a problem. It was, sh it was uh, more sloped than I thought it was. The map really is nice. And it's really nice that people are actually spreading out across the map now because of the water change and the diets. People are actually moving around. Not all of them. I mean, there's still people who are just sitting around doing nothing. Ooh, grasslands. Surely there will be mushrooms here at grasslands, right? You would think, maybe. Mushrooms. I don't see any mushrooms at all. I think my laptop's starting to make more noise. I'm so sorry if you're hearing it. I can't help it. Just try to ignore it. Hopefully it's not too loud and bothersome. I wish I could move my laptop farther away. But it's not that easy to do. Oops. I was trying to scoot my laptop. Hold on. Okay, we're back. And look, I found more termite mounds. So many termite mounds. Uh, I tried to scoot my laptop a little farther away, and I also gave it a break from recording so that it will stop whining so much, and hopefully that has helped reduce the sound. Look at these little tiny puddles. No one's drank from them. They're 100%. They're so little. Oh no, why'd I stop drinking? I'm not full. Hold on. Typey, typey, typing. Typing to people in chat. I don't know why I bother. Oh, okay. The puddles are so small that I already drained their quality to nothing. Well, we are still looking for food. And I found a little house. Look at the house. It's so tiny. Not really. It's big. It's so sheltery. Ooh, a hole. How do I get in there? It's like a little cave. Ooh, it is like a little cave. Oh, we should rest in here, regenerate our stamina. What do you all think? I think it's a brilliant idea. Let's see it right here, where we're uh, sheltered and hidden by the rocks. And we'll, we'll just go to sleep with the rock hiding us from view, regenerate our stamina a bit. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Nice little cave shelters. I like that these are around. They're fun. Okay, we are still heading to the mire. We are way too far north and need to go southwest apparently. So, back we go. Onwards and upwards, because we're actually going upwards. Ha ha. Do do do. All right. Mm -hmm. I like this southwest corner of the map, though. I really do. I like redwoods. I still haven't found any bones. I've not found any edible mushrooms. So all I've really found are salt rocks and lots of termite mounds. Ooh, don't fall down there. I've also found, you know, lots of acorn or not acorns, pine cones and, you know, stuff I can't eat. I did find one of the corpse flower looking non corpse flower things while I was walking around and not recording, of course. I thought about recording, but I'm like, it would just be a few seconds of the flower and, you know, oh well. Grass gully. Look, another termite mound. I wish I could eat from these, man. They're everywhere. That's okay. We're gonna find food. We're not, we're still above half. All right, we're getting close to the mire. The 
fire is where the mushrooms are, if no one's eaten them at least. And there'll be what we tried to rely on for food right now. Just because I haven't found anything yet. Ooh, that's a cliff. Don't want to fall down there. Need to find the way down as best we can at least. I'm kind of nervous of dropping too far because I've come all this way and I don't want to die to a fall damage of all things. So we're going to just look for a safe way down. So the mire's over there. So we do need to try to find our way down somewhere. All right. I could try to drop off there, but I'm still, like I said, a little nervous of dying of fall damage when a little bit of patience would get me down safer. So it looks like up here is promising. Oh, what's this? Hold on. Oh, hello, person. I would kill you and eat you, but you're another Metri and Metries are annoying to fight. Oh, you're gonna let me have the piece of meat? Well, I did say I wasn't gonna eat scavenged meat, but this is gifted meat. There's a difference between scavenged and diff diff uh, gifted meat. And it's out. Maybe there's water in here. Oh, look, mushrooms, finally. See, if it's a cluster of mushrooms, we can eat them. Let's dig them out of the ground and eat them all up. Yum. And we got our little mushroom healing buff, even though we don't need to be healed. Take up those mushrooms. I don't like how it highlights the mushrooms when I'm trying to take a picture. It's like, make the highlight go away, too. Oh no, there's only one mushroom left. Gotta take a pic- Oh no! There's no mushrooms left in my picture. Oh, we'll take a picture anyways, but yeah. Okay. Let's eat the milk caps. These mushrooms aren't worth a lot of food. All right, let's try and get a good picture. Oh, I would have rather have the other mushrooms for a picture, but oh well. What can you do? We're gonna take a picture anyways. As you see the mushrooms disappearing gradually one by one. Or in groups like that just did. Okay. Yay, we're full. And there's still mushrooms left. Yeah, we didn't have to go all the way to the moon. Victory bar for finding food. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to go to chat, not crouch. But let's go to the mire and get water now. That sounds good to me. All right. Should be able to go down right here. Yes. And then head this away, indeed. find the mire and drink up all the water as long as it's not you know completely tanked and dirty because a lot of people go to the mire so the water might be too dirty okay how do we get down uh, typing to people of course talking talking to people anyways we at least found mushrooms to eat yes indeed so we found mushrooms and salt rock. And we got a piece of gifted meat, which didn't fill us up very much. Ah, the mire. My favorite spot on the map. I just like it a lot. All right, now we can drink. I'm hearing flies. Why am I hearing flies? Flies are this, oh, there's something dead over here. Huh, okay. Well, we got meat if we want meat. I knew I was hearing flies somewhere. All the water. Oh, there's the uh, guy that gave me his piece of steak. That's nice. Hello. Hello, friend. I come in peace, and the Serato next to me comes in pieces. Ha ah, ha ha ha. Anywho, well, we fulfilled our goal of finding and surviving off of new food sources and not pre placed ones. We got to see some of the cool biomes. I like revisiting some of those areas that I like a lot. Uh, yeah. We got to see other new foods, even if we couldn't eat them, like the flowers and the pine cones and the, the shellfish and these melons right here. I 
got a melon. How fun is that? A melon. Anyways, so that'll be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed my little Metri adventure. I think next I might do the same thing, but with Alberta and try to get to that food paradise I saw before. So that should be fun too. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.